welcome back. I'm Tedward and today, thanks to Bond Group in Waltham, Massachusetts, we're going to have a little therapy drive in an early Aston Martin Vantage. This is a 4.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 with a dry sump lubrication system. And of course, it's a convertible. So despite being December, I think it's still calls for a good top-down motoring experience so we get the full expression of this engine note. The car is titanium silver, the interior is this gorgeous Chancellor red leather and it's like a very small cabin but it's incredible how much leather it takes to still coat it in this beautiful red. But I love the looks of this car. Man, the VH platform really did have the chops and it's just the perfect size for a little roadster. Now, it doesn't have a ton of power. We're working with about 380 horsepower, which is less than its later brother that came in 2008 with the 4.7 liter V8. It does have a red fabric top, which is gorgeous and matches the interior. But when we take a look under the hood, this is really cool. I love the packaging of these Aston Martin Vantages because they sit this V8 so far down in the chassis and back. So this is pretty much behind the front axle and so low due to this dry sump oiling system. It's incredible how these cars handle despite not really being numbers cars. They're not track stars. And I think that's always been a deterrent on these things. And now I think people can appreciate this just for its character. It has an interesting gearbox, which is located at the rear of the vehicle. And it's a single clutch automated manual, which Aston Martin dubbed the sport shift. But what I really like about this car is that it is all Aston Martin. This is an Aston Martin engine. It's an Aston Martin chassis. So let's go out and just enjoy the drive because it really is fun to drive these things. So let's start it up. We've got our key because it's old. Remember, we don't have just a push to start without a key. Turn that and then we're able to hit our engine start stop button. Now up here is our gear shift, so we're able to put it into drive or reverse or neutral, but more interestingly is that this button here says comfort. And I really appreciate this because that, instead of being a sport button, is a comfort button, which implies that it's in sport mode all of the time, which means that you would only actively seek comfort because normally the resting position is sport mode. I like that a lot. Let's grab our earmuffs out of the trunk. Super fresh pistons on this. That is going to knock your teeth out if you're not careful. We'll release our brake here. Into drive. Off we go. gearbox is really interesting because you notice that it takes quite a bit of time between shifts but it's very punchy it's a nice grippy clutch so when it does hit the next gear there's a relatively theatrical engagement and that is fun now maybe in new that wasn't the most exciting thing or maybe after the few years that it was built but now this has character and i think as we're finding with electrification character goes a long way right so even though a car could be faster or more athletic 
sometimes the way it delivers the power and the way it delivers the experience is more important than the numbers it puts out on paper. Here, I'll put these windows up. Insulate us just a little more. Now, the thing about this car though is that you are supposed to like curl your toes a little bit between shifts. And at least that's what Aston Martin recommended at the time. I don't know what's really good for it or not good for it, but at the end of the day, you know, you definitely need to adapt to this style of transmission. We do have paddle shifters and they're column mounted, very race car. This isn't an outrageously high revving V8, but it does do the job, I think up to about 7,300 RPM, and it just sounds phenomenal doing it. Let's see if we can't safely get around our FedEx guy. Give him a little bit of a show on the way down. Oh, God, I love this thing. Everything about these Astons is so direct, and you know, the point is to be a driver. The point is to enjoy what you're driving and to have super connected steering, a rigid enough chassis, a beautiful interior, characterful engine with cool technology with a dry stump oiling system. I mean, this is so cool. I haven't gone for like a proper therapy drive in a while. When I do these videos, sometimes I'm focusing so much on trying to communicate all of the things that I'm feeling so that way you can experience what I'm experiencing. But in doing that, sometimes I separate myself a little bit from the experience that I'm having. It's kind of like going on vacation versus traveling for work. Right now, I feel like I'm on vacation. I feel like I'm really enjoying this car. beauty too it's got 45,000 miles on it already so you know you buy this for probably cheap money and then just send it as much as you want who cares wow the top end of this engine is so good incredible how it pulls to red line. Uh, when 
I like about this car is that it just doesn't force you to be a jerk. You know, you can drive it quickly, briskly, but not violently, and it's still quite entertaining to do it. This is a great driver's car. Downships are so crisp. So before I leave you, I want to tell you this. I have a friend, he's got this Rolls Royce Maybach type collection. And a lot of times you think these guys are going to be the folks who just have no sense of humor. They drive these cars because they believe them to be the only thing they would ever drive. They're the best of the best of the best. Yet, what you have to do is you have to have a little bit of a sense of humor about these cars because sometimes they're so silly about the way they go about what they do. And this is kind of like that, where this is a little bit silly. This transmission is a little bit silly, but if you can find the joy in it, it's really entertaining to drive because you have to adapt to it. It's an automotive experience unlike anything else because it's not the best. I want to thank Bond Group in Waltham, Massachusetts for tossing me the keys to this cool little Aston Roadster. And thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive no matter what you're driving. And I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. This might be the last top-down drive of the season. It is December, so I think I'm playing with fire here.